So we have another game to bring up. This one is The Bridge, and the team lead is Ty Taylor. Uh, let's take a look at The Bridge. The Bridge from Ty Taylor and Mario Castaneda. Like an MC Escher work come to life, the bridge takes all perception of physics and perspective and literally turns them on their head. The controls are simple. You can either move left or right. The catch is, so can the level if you so choose. Using an almost exclusively grayscale pencil-drawn aesthetic, the bridge is visually arresting throughout its gradually unraveling mystery. By using levels both centered around a shiftable gravity and an impossible bending architecture, you'll have to keep on your toes to avoid various threats and to make your way to your next challenge. Each puzzle comes with a great sense of satisfaction when you've reached its solution, and the bridge offers a gradual hint system for those that need a gentle nudge in the right direction, whichever direction that may be. The possibilities truly open up when any wall or ceiling can easily become a floor. Only by changing your perception can you journey to piece together your past and ascertain the significance of the bridge. And uh, yes, I would like to point out that you've been recognized for both achievement in gameplay and achievement in art direction, both getting you $2,500. So congratulations. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, and it's for very good reason. I mean, the, the game, it's, it, it's, it's pencil drawings. Yes. These, the, and it's black and white, and you're revolving the screen. So I mean, you're like, hey, let's do something really hard. That would be so much fun. <laughs> um, well, yeah, actually, um, the technical difficulty was kind of something I, I wanted to do. I've, I looked at Braden Portal. Those are fun because <laughs> no one's done them before. No one's done them before mm -hmm. because they're so hard to make. So <laughs> I wanted to do something similar. Um, is this the game that you set out to make? I wanted to make an MC Escher game. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wanted to make something that looked like it did, and uh, you know, kind of rotating gravity and going through impossible architecture. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's one of those classic things where it's a very simple mechanic, but it's I imagine very challenging for you to actually know how to build that level so that the level and the mechanic work together in harmony. Yeah, it, it is. Um, rotating gravity, letting letting the walls be floors, can create an entirely new dimension. And whenever you have that kind of freedom, you just like. You know, just like Paradox Shift or the fourth wall, you really have just puzzle just come out of it. And, you know, I designed around the gameplay. Now, using the grayscale, could you have done this with a full color palette? Or is it, you know, because Escher, I think of Escher, I only think of pencil drawings. Would, would that even be possible? Or did it have to be with the pencil drawings in black and white? In order to feel like Escher, it did. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Um, how did you go through the process of building these levels? Did, I mean, how, how much tinkering with each one did you have to do or did, you know, to, to, to figure out if it worked? Uh, quite a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, some people have said like the, uh, the rotation is slow, but it's slow for a reason because like when you go through the impossible architecture, in order for it to work, you can't just like jump around like and yet it moves. You have to actually be able to ex ex um, let, the, let the floor go on to the wall, go on to the ceiling, not the floor to the ceiling. So, you know, a lot of very, very careful fine-tuning went into the design of the more complex puzzles. And, 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 you know, it's not a normal game mechanic to be able to rotate the screen of a game. So you're really introducing the player to something quite new. And I was very impressed with how gradual it really is. That, you know, when I'm playing it, I'm not feeling... I didn't find myself confounded at, at any point. It seemed to have a nice flow that teaches me a little bit everywhere I go. I mean, how much did you have to focus on that? Quite a bit. Um, like any puzzle game, playtesters will say, oh my god, this is hard from the beginning, and I don't want people to put it down at the beginning or, you know, at any time. So, yeah, uh, concentrating on, you know, gradual gameplays. And, and it does have a nice sense of story. It doesn't fully make sense when it begins, and that you really are sort of revealing elements of it as you went along. Was, was, was it your idea for the story, or did that come through the process? And Mario and I actually both worked on the story. Um, we both drove it. Um, I kind of had the idea of Newton meets Escher, and he kind of created a lot of the poetry that, that goes in through the game. Oh, I didn't realize that. So, so, so oh, the text up on the screen poetry. is... <laughs> yeah, let's call it poetry. I, did, I, I, I just see the guys the guy who just did those crazy things I would look at in class. Um, anyway, congratulations uh, both for the art direction and for the gameplay in the game. The bridge is phenomenal. Thank you so, so much. All right, thank you. <laughs>